topic is uh, soft power um, actually there are two kinds of power basically hard power and uh, soft power under hard power we have two different kinds of power the first one is the military power and the second is the economic power but why we are talking about soft power because as we know that our prime minister is visiting so many foreign nations and india is basically you know known for its soft power so let's just see what it is okay so this term was coined by joseph nye and it means ability of a country to persuade others what it wants others to do without resorting to force or coercion that means that country aapki country jo hai wo dusre country se wo sab kuch kara sakti hai जो वो चाहती है एंड बिना किसी फोर्स मिलिट्रली पावर या बिना किसी इकोनॉमिक सेंक्शन को यूज़ करे हुए एंड सॉफ्ट पावर की तीन सोर्सेज होती हैं द फर्स्ट इज़ द कल्चर वॉट टाइप ऑफ कल्चर दैट कंट्री इज हैविंग बिकॉज इफ अ कंट्री इज मल्टी कल्चरल लाइक इंडिया दैन डेफिनेटली द पोटेंशियल ऑफ हैविंग सॉफ्ट पावर इज ह्यूज एंड सेकेंड इज पोलिटिकल वैल्यूज अ कंट्री हैविंग डेमोक्रेटिक a uh, political setup and values definitely can have huge potential of soft power and third is foreign policies for example one can say that in africa india unlike china india is not uh, uh, you know undertaking aggressive uh, foreign policy and uh, india is known for resorting to you know soft tactics and soft power diplomacy um apart from that वन थिंग इज़ देयर द फर्स्ट थिंग अगर हम देखें कि इंडिया में सॉफ्ट uh, पावर का आप कहाँ कहाँ पे मतलब uh, क्या चीज़ हो सकती है इंडिया के कंटेक्स में द फर्स्ट थिंग इज़ इंडियाज सिविलाइजेशन दैट इंडिया हैज़ प्रोवाइडेड रिफ्यूज टू जूस पासीज क्रिश्चन्स एंड इवन मुस्लिम्स सेकेंड थिंग इज़ दैट इट्स अ कंट्री वेर ओल मेजर रिलीजन्स को एग्जिस्ट बीट हिंदुज़म बीट इस्लाम सिखिज़म so the values of tolerance and coexistence are there in indian society and third is india's spiritualism yoga and apart from that indian movies bollywood in fact you know pakistan is having a black market in this bollywood movies only and then we have principles of non violence gandhi gandhian principles democratic institutions and all so all these constitutes a part of indian soft power then indian diaspora can be seen as ambassadors of careers of soft power and especially agar hum buddhism ke context mein dekhein to this can be used as a part of cultural diplomacy in southeast asia in east asia it's japan and china uh, uh, with the buddhism as their main religion and uh, then in south asia we have sri lanka so these all constitutes the indian soft power fine and indian soft power components and uh, compared to china as i have told earlier that india is not undertaking any sort of aggressive policy india is not uh, relying more on militarily or economic power uh, instead india is trying to engage with the countries on the basis of culture india is definitely uh, putting more weightage on cultural and diaspora diplomacy and uh, but there are certain challenges with respect to soft power uh, there is a report named as soft power 30 and uh, unfortunately india is not in the top 30 of this report and uh, in fact tourist circuits which can be developed but they are underdeveloped and uh, india has done little to leverage the bollywood's power uh, in fact it's quite interesting that indian bollywood is even famous in central asia and even in russia so definitely india can leverage bollywood power you know uh, to a great extent and uh, and the major concern with so, uh, using uh, or more re, uh, relying on soft power is that it can give diffuse results I mean aapko surety nahi hai that agar aap koi cultural diplomacy ya soft power tactics use kar rahe ho then definitely the results will be in your favor as compared to ki aap agar hard power use karo matlab militarily ya economic power use karo aap kahin pe investment in uh, investments karoge infrastructure development karoge then they'll be giving you more reliable results theek hai 
बट द थिंग इज कि इसमें uh, मतलब अगर आप सॉफ्ट पार्ट डिप्लोमेसी यूज करते हो तो उसमें कोई रिस्क नहीं है ठीक है एंड टेररिज्म एंड रेडिकलाइजेशन इज स्टिल देयर सो वट कैन बी द वे अहेड दैट इंडिया नीड्स टू यूटिलाइज इट्स इंडियन डायल्स पोरा कल्चरल एंड सिविलाइजेशनल पार एंड इंडिया नीड्स टू डेवलप इट्स हायर एजुकेशन हायर एजुकेशन रिफॉर्म्स आर रिक्वायर्ड सो दैट मोर एंड मोर स्टूडेंट्स कैन बी अट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम नेबरिंग कंट्रीज एंड लाइक जैसे कि इंडिया ने नालंदा यूनिवर्सिटी से रिलेटेड डिप्लोमेसी प्ले की है साउथ ईस्ट एशियन यू नो कंट्रीज के साथ में सो वॉट इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट इज दैट इंडिया नीड्स टू कन्वर्ट इट्स चैलेंजेस इन टू अपॉर्चुनिटीज फाइन एंड इन द एंड वन कैन से दैट इंडिया मस्ट यूटिलाइज इट्स सॉफ्ट पावर टू इमर्ज नॉट ओनली एज अ रीजनल लीडर बट अ ग्लोबल पावर एज वेल एंड वन थिंग इज very interesting that india can compete with china uh, i would not say that only if it develops its soft power but definitely soft power can be a crucial component in you know in competing with china uh, in foreign policies fine right?